Salutations. I'm back. Some of you may know me for my extreme patience and unbiased opinions towards many classes in PvP. With the patience of a saint and the non-partisan opinion of a Supreme Court judge, I traverse the landscape of crystalline conflict, studying, analysing, and most importantly, being so egotistical that I think my opinions are worth your time. So when I do make this video, I do believe it's a service I'm providing both new and veteran players of this cool-headed and involatile community. So, with the calm collected demeanour only donned by Tuco Salamanca himself, I present to you Twix Crystalline Conflict Job Tier List. After speaking with my local GM, I have been informed that I must tell you that all the opinions expressed in this video are of my own and for entertainment purposes primarily. So without waiting any longer, allow me to introduce today's rankings. Right at the very bottom we have F, and right at the very top we have Triple S, which reminds me of DMC because I still can't get over the cutscene where Dante and Virgil after a fierce duel just start kicking. Because I've done the maturity of a 5 year old, I'm going to have to go through these jobs in alphabetical order, because with any other order, I'd just get lost. In case you needed reminding, we're going to have to start at A, which means Astrologian is the first one up. And from my experience, I always know when an Astrologian's on the enemy team without even looking at the enemy job list, because 70% of the time I'll be walking slower than someone who's soiled themselves. Soiling myself won't stop me, but it's just going to be a little bit annoying. And for that, I'm putting them in C tier. If you ever want to know what it feels like to run into a burning house to save a litter of puppies, only to find out no one was watching or even cares. Try playing Bard. Our strung up friend has massive utility, but their parents didn't come to their own birth. B tier. If someone tells you they're a black mage main in PvP, create some distance between you and that person, as they're either 1, a lot of felt, or 2, have a single digit IQ because they think they're good because they can spam the ice spells. Black mages in PvP have one job, and that's to spam ice and not get jumped on by the big boys. That's it. Because of these two reasons, I'm going to put Black Mage in S for stay away from me you fucking goblin. Ever since the dance poll got added for purchase from the Golden Saucer, Dancer mains have finally found their purpose outside of bottom DPSing. They are a great support class that make me laugh every time because they can dance while they're moving and sometimes it looks quite goofy. Despite this, their limit break, if taken advantage of, can spell the end for many people at once. With that being said, I'm putting them in B for big ass limit break. If I was to say cheer if you like playing Dark Knight or getting pegged, you would only hear Dark Knight mains. With that being said, as stated in my last video, Dark Knight seems to have an interesting pain kink, which can only put them in D for don't threaten me with a good time. Dragoon has been a hot topic for debate ever since the launch of PvP, as some players find it really hard to see a bright blue aura on the ground. Despite this, they've always been a solid choice for someone who wants to push the limits of the fights that they can realistically take. Because if they realise, oh, I might die, they can make a quick escape like Team Rocket. A tier. On release, Gunbreaker was awful and now it's just... okay, I guess. Although it's not the best, its gameplay is really fun and it has a lot of diversity with its roll cartridges, making it my favourite tank in Crystalline Conflict. C tier. If you asked a 5 year old to design a class, they would definitely choose to have a flamethrower, chainsaw and a sniper. Machinist is a very versatile ranged DPS in Crystalline Conflict and can be very dangerous in the right hands. With some really hard CC and some high damaging skills, when combo correctly, this can take out most injured enemies. A tier. Swinging through the trees at Mach 10, the monkey has more tools than it needs to be the king of the jungle. Donning the same health as two of our tank classes, the monkey may not have the most damage, but it does have one of the most annoying kits in Crystalline Conflict. And for that reason, I'm going to put it in S tier. Ninja needs no introduction. If you've played Crystalline Conflict at any point, you probably have so many ninja related injuries. Speaking about this matter quite frankly makes me sick. I'm going to give it the only place it deserves. Triple S. With the power of God and being the current expansion's poster boy on their side, Paladin is undoubtedly the best tank right now in Crystalline Conflict. As a supportive job, it's unbeatable at what it does, which is just simply not dying. Killing a paladin is like killing the tutorial boss in the Souls game first try. It wasn't really meant to happen. With that being said, S for sword and shield but still no set. Q in everyone's favourite melee job that was special once but now has fallen into obscurity like the rest of them. Reaper has never really been in a good spot in PvP, with his PvE mains usually having the spine akin to Spongebob and playing something else in PvP. Despite its rocky past, it's had a few quiet buffs here and there, which actually make it decent in 1v1 situations. However, when you put it next to, say, Dragoon or Monk, it's just... it's, it's just not as good. Eater. 
Red Mage can be extremely devastating in the right hands, with options to increase your survivability or your damage, and being able to switch your focus like that makes you more useful than most of the other classes. They can jump on you quickly and unleash a full sword combo, and if you didn't know any better, you just think it's England at 3am. Resist! Esther. Next up is Sage, and despite being the newest kid on the block, it's already been bullied into a new school. However, in PvP it can do more damage than a DPS, which I think is fantastic game design. When a Sage opts to give themselves their own buff rather than a tank who's actually going to be taking hits, they can become incredibly annoying for both teams. A. The Alpha Swole Lever Large. While you were out drinking and partying, they were studying the art of being detestable to the opposite sex. Samurai mains are some of Final Fantasy's most interesting players. They're the top DPS on the streets and a Redditor under the sheets. They do decent damage and have an LB which can only be described as an overreaction. Because if you do so much as touch them, they'll retaliate with an instant kill. The only thing that makes this class worth playing is its judgement cut. So with that being said, C4. I've come. Scholar is the first of the book nerds, and just like in PvE, Scholar mains don't exist, and haven't since the start of Endwalker. So this one, despite being my opinion, may miss because it's not like I have a great big sample size, and it's not like the rest of my places have been biased and misinformed anyway. From what I can conclude, Scholar, if not used as a DPS with a good comp, can be a bit of an issue for the enemy with their extra shields. B tier. If you thought one librarian wasn't enough, is its way more popular pretty sister, Summoner. Depending on who you ask, this is one of the best and most well-rounded classes in Crystalline Conflict. It has CC and a lot of damage. A tier, possible S tier. Last but not least, we have Warrior. Despite their past selves being the most scary soldiers in all of the Wolves' Den, they kind of fell off. Nowhere near the Warlord they used to be, but they're not terrible either. They can be susceptible to being burst down, but at this point, who isn't? I'm going to give them a cool B tier. I know I said last but not least before, but I've just realised I've forgotten about White Mage. Reason being is that this class for me is about as interesting as their PvE damage rotation. White Mage, like Warrior, was interesting on release. Although its fall from grace wasn't as severe, it's not the world destroyer it used to be. However, it's easily the best healer, and if I get turned into an onion again, I will go postal. Sign this petition or I'll follow you home and kill your dog. S tier. So there it is. The single image that would divide a whole community. If I've ranked your favourite job low, please don't take it personally. I just don't like you. Feel free to put all that Ben Shapiro you've been watching into practice and debate my list in the comments. But for me, this is how it stands. I wish you all a pleasant day. Peace.